Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be evaluating an expression based on the given expression values. If you like this video, please comment, like and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications. And let's get started. So we are given that x plus y plus z is equal to 0, a plus b plus c is equal to 0, and a over x plus b over y plus c over z is equal to 0. And we're supposed to evaluate a x squared plus b y squared plus cz squared. Now, if you look at this equation carefully, you're going to notice that there are six different variables, but they are somewhat related. And there are some, there is some relationship between uh, these variables, obviously, for example, x plus y plus z is equal to zero. So their sum is zero. So not all of them can be positive or not all of them can be negative. So there are some restrictions. And suppose that these are real numbers, how could we find the value of x squared plus by squared plus the cz squared based on the givens? That's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to be doing a lot of algebraic manipulations here, so bear with me while I manipulate these expressions to get what we want. So our goal is to get ax squared plus by squared plus the cz squared, and to be able to get that, it would definitely make sense if we took one of these expressions, which I would say in this case, x plus y plus z, and multiplied by something such that we can get a x squared and so on and so forth. So what does that look like? Well, if you go ahead and start with this one, so write that down, x plus y plus z, and then go ahead and multiply it by the following, which is not one of the expressions that were given, by the way, but it's going to help us find what we want. So that expression is going to be ax plus by plus cz. Now, you might be wondering, like, why are we multiplying by this and where does this come from? Well, first of all, notice that if you multiply by this, you're definitely going to get what you're looking for plus some other terms. For example, from here, you should be getting ax squared you should be getting by squared, you should be getting cz squared, right? Plus some other terms, and we'll take care of those terms. So what's really good about this is that we start off with something we know, which is x plus y plus z, and moreover, we know that it's equal to zero. So this product needs to equal zero because x plus y plus z is equal to zero, okay? So we kind of start off with that. And then, what do we do? We go ahead and use the distributive property and arrange this expression. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to distribute the x and I'm going to write this as a x squared plus b x y plus c x z. And I'm going to follow the alphabetical order as much as I can here, plus a x y plus b y squared plus c y z, right? You know what I'm going to erase that, right? c y z. And then Finally, we're going to distribute the z, and that's going to give us a x z plus b y z and c z squared. Okay, I have to make it real small so that I can fit it in one line. So, notice that here we have something cool, a x squared plus b y squared plus c z squared. And obviously, this is equal to zero because uh, x plus y plus z is equal to zero, zero times any quantity is always equal to zero. Okay, now let's go ahead and rearrange these terms so that we can write the ax squared plus by squared plus cz squared first, and then everything else we're gonna write next. But when we're writing these things, it might make sense if we put some like terms together so that we can use factoring. For example, Consider axy and bxy. Obviously, they have a common term. They have a common factor so that I can take it out, and that factor would be xy. So I can write it as xy times a plus b, right? And you're going to notice a pattern here uh, that should be familiar. And then uh, I can just go off of xz next. For example, xz, this one, and this one. And if I pull out the xz here, then I should be getting a plus c, right? Which makes sense. Plus, and then finally, I have the CYZ and the BYZ. Wow, I just made an error without <laughs> knowing. Uh, CYZ and BYZ is going to give us 
the last two terms. So if I pull out a yz here, it should give me b plus c. And this whole thing again is equal to zero. All right, cool. Now, obviously we've only used the first expression here and we used what's given because that's what we're looking for, right? So we still haven't used the second and third expressions, but we're gonna use them, don't worry. Now, my next step is gonna be to do a little bit of substitution here. What kind of substitution am I talking about? This is what I'm talking about. Remember, our second expression says a plus b plus c is equal to zero. So can I use that here? Absolutely, how? Well, since a plus b plus c is equal to zero, this allows us to write the sum, for example, consider a plus b, we can write that sum as negative c. Nice. What's so good about that? You're gonna see it in the next steps. What about a plus c? Well, we can write it as negative b, and b plus c you can write as negative a. Cool. Let's see how cool this is by just making the substitution. So it's gonna give us ax squared plus by squared plus cz squared. Again, don't forget that this is what we're looking for and some other terms, of course. Plus, but this everything comes with a minus sign. So I might as well just put a minus sign, kind of like a global minus sign for everything. And then this is gonna become cxy. I'd like to write the abc before the xyz. It kind of looks better that way. And then uh, I should be getting bxz and then ayz. Cool. And again, this is equal to zero, which means that I can actually go ahead and isolate my expression, the one that I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for, right? So why don't we just go, go ahead and isolate it on the left-hand side so that we get a nicer expression. And that's basically what we're looking for, right? We're trying to find the value of a x squared plus b y squared plus c z squared based on the givens, okay? And as you know, the givens are, there are three givens. We use the first one, which is x plus y plus z is equal to zero. a plus b, b plus c is equal to zero. We use that one as well. Now is the time to use the third one. But how do you use that one? We're gonna see in a little bit, so stay tuned. So I feel like I should be writing the AYZ first because of the A, you know, it kind of looks better that way, I guess. So let's arrange this a little bit so that it goes like A, B, C. So this is what I get, right? Okay, cool. Now, this is not the answer, by the way. We're looking for a numerical value for AX squared plus BY squared plus CZ squared. So we're not gonna settle for something like this because this one is even more complicated. It doesn't really help us, right? So here's, here's what I'm gonna do. Remember, I haven't used the third expression, right? So what I'd like to do is, since I'm looking for the left-hand side and it's equal to the right-hand side, I might as well just simplify the right-hand side, right? That's gonna give me the answer. How? Like this. Notice that here we have yz, we're missing x. Here, we, we're missing x. Here, we're missing y, and here, we're missing z. But that's not a problem. Suppose x, y, z are there, or you can just pretend that x, y, z is a common factor. Why? Again, you'll see in a little bit. And this is gonna work miracles, so let's do it. So I'm gonna pull out, instead of, because here's the thing, is there any common factor? Nope. A, y, z, b, x, z, c, x, y. Okay, I can use x, but only two terms have x in it. Y, only two terms have y in it. So there's no common factors, but we're gonna push it in this direction. I'm gonna pull out an x, y, z. Well. They kind of have it, but we have to manipulate. How? Well, this is what you're thinking. What should I multiply x, y, z by to get a, y, z? Well, I got the y, z there, so I need, I need an a, but I don't have an x. I don't have an x in the a, y, z. So I need to get rid of the x. So in other words, I have to multiply x by one over x, so that becomes one, so it disappears. So this means that you're supposed to multiply it by a over x, because the x cancels out, you see what I'm talking about? You get a, y, z from here. And then to get b, x, z, you have to multiply x, y, z by b over y, like bye, bye, and then plus c over z, because the z is gonna cancel out, you're gonna end up with c, x, y, which is what you want, right? Okay, cool. Now, notice what we have inside the parentheses. 
A third one. Yes, that's correct. And we were given what? We were given that a over x plus b over y plus c over z is equal to zero. And we're looking for the left-hand side, which is ax squared plus by squared plus cz squared. Or this expression, ax squared plus by squared plus cz squared is equal to zero, just like the other ones. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, bye-bye.